Lots of systems undergo simple harmonic motion. A bob on a pendulum, a mass on a spring, a person on a swing. Each of these systems has two things in common. There are two forces involved, and they start off with a nudge. A mass on a spring is the simplest system to study. The mass wants to fall to the ground under the pull of gravity. It is stopped from doing this by the tension force in the spring. If the mass on the spring isn't moving, then the forces are in equilibrium. The spring is extended a little way because of the mass on it. This is called the equilibrium position, because the forces of gravity and tension are equal but opposite. In order to start our system undergoing simple harmonic motion, we need to apply a force that will disturb this equilibrium. Once we remove this force, our system will try to return to equilibrium. It won't reach equilibrium if we have removed the resistive forces in the system, but it will display simple harmonic motion. The initial force moves our mass away from the equilibrium position. The displacement of our mass from equilibrium, when the initial force is removed, is the maximum displacement that the mass experiences. It is also the maximum difference in the forces applied to the mass. If we have used our initial mass to raise the mass on our spring, then we have decreased the tension force on the mass, meaning that when the initial force has been removed, gravity will be greater than tension, and so the mass will accelerate downwards. If we instead used our initial force to pull the mass downwards, the tension in our spring would exceed the force of gravity pulling the mass downwards. Then, when we remove the initial force, our mass will accelerate upwards. At the equilibrium position, the forces are again equal. Tension equals gravity. However, now our mass has a velocity which carries the mass beyond the equilibrium position and starts to generate an imbalance in forces again. From the equilibrium position onwards, our object starts to slow down. The force returning it to equilibrium is greater than the force moving it away from equilibrium. Eventually the mass will stop moving and start to return to equilibrium again because the returning force has slowed the mass to a halt. If there are no resistive forces, this pattern will continue forever. The mass moving up to a maximum displacement and then back to equilibrium, then up to a maximum displacement, but this time negative, and then back to equilibrium. The mass experiences the maximum force difference at the maximum displacements and so has the greatest acceleration at these points. The direction of this acceleration changes from positive to negative depending on which maximum displacement it is at. The mass does not accelerate at all when it is at the equilibrium position because the forces on the mass are equal. The acceleration gets bigger as the mass moves away from equilibrium. The velocity of the mass is zero at maximum displacement as the object has no speed and is to all intent uh, is to all effects stationary at this point when the acceleration is at its minimum at the equilibrium position the velocity of the mass is at its maximum these are the reasons why people swing on swings the way they do you kick your legs at the furthest extent of a swing as this is when a little a small force will have the most effect you strain to swing the swing when you are furthest forward and furthest backwards. You feel the air fly past your face the fastest at the bottom of the swing because you are going the fastest you will during the whole swing.